my name is Allison and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a closet declutter. It's a new year and I decided to start it off with decluttering my closet. I do this every few months because I noticed um, every now and then when I start looking for clothes to wear for the day that there are so many things that I just don't gravitate towards. I don't want to wear anymore. So I decided to do a huge closet declutter and I already started. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've done. So stay tuned. All right, so when I first start my closet to clutter, I put my hair up, put my comfy clothes on, as you saw in the intro, and grab myself a drink, got my water here. And I always need, as you can see, look, look at this mess. I mean, my goodness, I just have stuff everywhere. And actually, this isn't as bad as it was about five minutes ago. But anyway, I also grab a plastic bag. So this is my pile right now that I have going on in my uh, hallway. I have just a bunch of clothes that I tried on that I just don't like the way they look anymore or they were damaged or stretched out or faded. Um, some had, you know, pills on them and I wasn't able to make them look any better with my little gadget. Here, I'll show you my little gadget. I, I don't know if I showed you this in my closet tour video but anyway it's one of these little things i don't even know what exactly what it's called but it gets off the little um fuzzies on your sweaters you just turn it on and it's, it's actually pretty cool but anyway so yeah so i have some things here i just have not worn these in a very long time um i just don't grab them anymore or they just i don't know they just aren't my style uh anyway some of these things need to be organized they were in the wrong spot I have my cardigans in here. I still have to go through my cardigans. So I thought we could go through those together because it, there aren't like too, too many of them. Um, I also reorganized all of my shirts. They're still, you know, by season and by color. And I will link my um, closet organization and closet tour video down below. So you can watch that if you didn't watch that yet. Anyway, this is just more of like a closet declutter. The other video is more on tips on how to organize your closet. So I decided that the job I have now, I can wear more uh, casual clothes, like even like athletic wear. We don't interact with um, customers or people or anything other than the people we work with. So we're allowed to wear sweatshirts and it's actually really cold in the place I work. Um, Although I think it's just me that thinks it's really cold because nobody else seems to think so. But anyway, I have all of these, you know, cute little sweatshirts and stuff that I've decided to organize because I had them all um, folded down below and they were getting wrinkled, as you can see. Like I had these steamed because I'm a little bit obsessive about steaming clothes. I don't like wrinkles in my clothes. So now I'm going to have to go and steam these again. But these were getting wrinkled down there. So I am going to organize them all up here. And then I think I'm going to put my leggings and joggers down there. So anyway, um, let's get started on getting rid of some things. All right. So you'll have to pardon my appearance because like I said, I've been in here for a while working and I am sweaty, had to put my hair up and whatever. So I'm going to hang this up because this was in the wrong spot. Just a little, um, zip up hoodie, you know, very comfortable. Put it here with my new little sweatshirt organization. And then I have a bunch of these that I found throughout my other clothes that are more like athletic wear. So I'm going to add them down here. Um, let's see, just start hanging up stuff, I guess. You know me, I like to color coordinate everything also. So I will do kind of like the rainbow, red, orange, yellow. I feel like I'm in preschool again. Let's see, this will go over here with the grays and beiges, and here's more gray. Oh my goodness. It's so funny, I don't realize how much stuff I have until I start going through it all, and I'm like, I, there's just no way I could possibly wear all of these clothes. So if I'm not reaching for them, I am getting rid of them. This was kind of one that I was on the fence about, I'm um, like, you know, I could wear it over a dress, but I, I don't know. I just never, ever grab it. So I think it's going in the donate pile, which, as you saw before, is in my hallway. So I'm just going to throw that on the floor right now and move on. And then I found these cute little 
pants in with my swimsuits because I think they're like a linen. And I think I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll wear them, you know, to the beach or something. I don't know. These wide leg pants are kind of in style again. So I, I don't know. I have to try them on. I'm not going to try them on now. So I'm going to put those in a pile of things I need to try on when I am not filming. So that'll go over here because I do not think I've worn those in years, but they are in style. So I should try them. All right. So let me move you guys down and over here because I'm going to go through my cardigans, hopefully relatively quickly. Let's see. Can you see me? Yep. All right. So these are some cute little, I consider this like a cardigan just because it's a little button up, but anyway. So I am going to go through some of these. I have not really been wearing these much this year. I don't know why, but I have a ton. I think these four are all my cardigans, this little sweater type things. So let's see, I've got black one. I do actually wear that. And then this little crocheted black one. And this, I don't wear a lot because it's super bulky but it's really, really warm and I feel like I should keep it and possibly take it to work so I can stay warm and not have to wear my actual coat, which I do at work, wear at work sometimes because I'm so cold. This one, I really wore this a ton last year, but I feel like it's getting kind of, I don't know, dingy looking. I, I don't know how else to describe it, but I don't know. We'll see. I did wear this a lot before. And this one, I just never, ever, ever wear. So we are going to donate it, which is that pile over there. Um, this is kind of a longer one. And I honestly don't wear really long ones very often because, probably because I am really short. And I just feel like it makes me look shorter. I, I don't know. I'm sure it's just in my head, but I, I don't know. Maybe I should try to give this one another shot, but we'll see. That's also going to be in the maybe pile. And this one I do wear. Um, it's yellow, and my son's hockey team is black and yellow. So I actually wear that a lot with um, the t-shirts in the fall and spring when you need layers. So I'm going to keep that. All right, let's see what else I have in here. And here's another gray long one. I actually really like this one. I'm going to keep this. It's not as long as my purple one. And this, I never, ever, ever wear this. So it is going in the donate. Oh, this is like a fluffy one which I actually do wear. I actually wear this around the house a lot, so I'm keeping it. It's warm, it's cozy, it's perfect. I'm going to keep it. And oh, I forgot I had this red one. See, this is why you have to do a closet declutter because you forget things you have. You know, I could have worn this for Christmas. Ugh, oh well. I guess there's always next year. Well, I'm gonna hang on to this because I do like this one. And let's see, we have a blue one. I'm going to keep that, it's my kids' school colors. And what is this one? Oh, this is green. This is cute. I think I'll keep this. I like this. I, I can see myself wearing that with a bunch of things. So I'm going to keep that. Now I have to actually remind myself to actually wear these things. All right. Now I have to go through them all before I put them back in so I can see how much space I need. Oh, here's more. This is but a cream color. Yes, I am going to definitely keep this. Um, I wear this actually quite a bit because it's so neutral. Oh, and I love this one. It's like a leopard print. Love that one. This one, another neutral cream. I feel like I wear neutrals and cardigans, like black and creams and beiges and tans a lot because you can wear any color shirt under them. It's just, and it's easier to style. Whereas like I find the different colored ones are a lot harder to style. Like what do you wear under this? White, black, I guess. I don't know. Like you can't really wear, you know, a blue print under this, but you could under beige. Anyway. Okay. This one, you know what? This one is 
cute. It's a Michael Kors, but it is actually super, super itchy. So I think we're going to have to say goodbye to this one because I never grab it because it's so itchy. And this is another cute one. All right, I'm going to keep this. It's actually a really nice knit and it's warm. All right, now it's time to start putting them back in. So I'm going to start with this one because it's kind of thick and it's beige. Then I'm going to grab another beige tan and then another. I like to group them in colors. You can see that in my closet organization video. I'm a little bit um, crazy with organizing things. Although it wouldn't look like it now with the state of my closet, but <laughs> you got to make a mess to get it organized, right? All right, so that's in there. Those are good. I'm going to stick these in here. All right now we're going to go with black. Here we go. Add all the black. And I think I'll add gray to this one. And what else? I think I'll put in these. They're also black and gray. And that is good. I'll put that down. I'll have all my neutrals down at the bottom. Oh, wait, I forgot to go through this one. Ugh. All right. Okay, this one I'm keeping. Love this brown color. And actually, this one is super soft. And it actually does go with a lot of the colors in my wardrobe. And I have another leopard one and another leopard one. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put the browns together. All right. And that's basically it for the cardigans. All right, we are finished with the cardigans. So now I'm going to do some athletic wear. So let me show you here what we got going on. We have a whole bunch of joggers, sweatpants, um, leggings, workout clothes, all that kind of stuff down here. So I need to organize all of this and see what I want to hang over in that other section. So let's get started. All right, so first of all, this is kind of random, but I was shopping and I was at Dick's and I found this cute hoodie. So I'm going to add that over in my other section. And I also got a pair of, I guess this is like the, um, the Dick's brand. D what's it? DSG. Is that what it says? I don't know. I never heard of it. Um, hmm. Anyway. So yeah, it's like, a, it says a mid-rise woven jogger. So I thought these were cute. Anyway, we try them on, see if they fit, but I'll do that later. Anyway. All right. So I have gray joggers that I think I'm going to move over there and these fleece lined. Oh my goodness. These are like so warm. I got these at Sam's club. They are just the warmest. I wear them when I take walks in the winter because they keep me so, so warm. Here are another pair of BCBG Max Azria. I never ever say that right. Anyway, they're really cute little joggers and I think they're a little bit more stylish so I'm thinking I'm gonna wear those to work with a cute hoodie. Um, let's see what else I have in here. Um, oh, oh, I forgot I had these. See, once again, forgot I had these little Calvin Klein um, joggers. They're actually super cute. They have like a little leopard design. I am going to definitely wear those. Uh, let's see, Lululemon yoga pants. I don't really wear yoga pants anymore, but I don't want to get rid of them because these were very expensive. Um, Nike yoga pants. These must all be my yoga pants. You know what? I'm going to leave my yoga pants in here because I don't really wear yoga pants anymore. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I am going to leave most of the stuff in here because it's workout clothes and I do wear them but I don't really need to have them out that's kind of why I have them hidden away here but like I said a few of the joggers I actually do want to move out because I'm I am going to be wearing those so that's it right now okay so I organized the other side of my island with all of my workout stuff and I found some leggings and joggers that I can wear with a lot of my hoodies and things. So I'm going to put them down here in my new space that I have because 
I organized so many of my sweaters and sweatshirts and hung them up here. So now I have more room. All right, so they're going there. And in here, I have, this is like a whole pile of things I just took out. So I have my little puffer vests and things, and I think I'm going to hang them also here because I have a ton of extra hangers after getting rid of so many things. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then, um, oh yeah, and I tried on my new outfit that I just got at Dick's. And let's see, got my North Face hoodie and these new cute little joggers. They are super comfortable. So pretty happy with that. And I'm going to hang up the shirt I was wearing before because I literally had it on for like the 10 minutes while I was filming because I was just trying things on. So it is clean still. I'm gonna hang that up. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, maybe right here. And I'm going to hang up this. And hopefully this will remind me to wear these more because they are actually really comfortable and they're good for work because um, they give you a lot of movement in your arms, but they keep you warm. So, I know it's ridiculous that I'm talking about wearing like puffer vests inside at work, but I get cold. What can I say? So actually I might put these on the end and then I have another one. This is my black Calvin Klein one. I really like this one a lot. I like this one a lot because it has the gold hardware. I just, I don't know why, but I love black with gold hardware. So I'm going to put that here. And then I also found this super cute zip up little Sherpa thing from Express. I really like this. My husband tells me I look like I'm um, in the, wearing something from the 70s when I wear this, but I like it so Anyway, that's going to go here, and I have a pink one also that is really warm. You know what? I should hang up that beige one that I found in the cardigans here, too. Let me see. I put that, I think I put that in here, so, of course, the last one I look in, yep, here it is, the top one. I'm going to put that here, too, so I remember to wear it. All right. So, so far we're doing pretty well, but I'll show you the pile of everything that I'm donating um, in just a minute because I have to obviously put everything in bags and then take it to, I'll probably take it to Goodwill tomorrow. Um, anyway, so this is looking pretty good. One more hanger for this one. Okay, now I'm sweating because I am moving around and I'm wearing a hoodie, but that's okay. Is okay. All right. Here we go. I think we're good. We have everything all organized. All right. Awesome. And I will probably fix the color coordination of this because it's going to drive me nuts, but I'll do that later. So, all right. So here is the finished product, the final reveal. I cleaned up all of the mess, which makes me very happy. And I reorganized a bunch of my hanging things so that I could have room for a lot of my athletic clothing here that I can wear to work. It's not my workout clothes. I'd say more of like athleisure type things. A little bit nicer than workout clothes and I don't wear them to work out. So I do not sweat in them. And then I have the um, black joggers and my leggings down here that I don't work out in that I just wear um, for lounging. And then I did get rid of a bunch of sweaters, which makes me very happy because I have more room and they're not as crammed in there. And I will show you under here because I did organize under here. I have my kids sweatshirts. Well, they're my sweatshirts, but I wear them when I go to my kids games. And then I just have like my um, layering things like black tank tops and long sleeve white shirts that I wear underneath things to keep me warm. And then on the other side of the island are my actual workout clothes and my fleece lined leggings that I wear when I walk. So it's all good. Got it all organized and I'm pretty happy with it. Everything is nice and neat and color 
um, sorted. And out here is the pile of, ooh, sorry about that. I just completely slammed the door. Anyway, here are all of the things I'm going to donate. So I'm pretty happy with what I got rid of. And what else? Oh, I did organize my blazers and I didn't show you while I was doing it. It's kind of a disaster. Things are falling everywhere, but uh, the blazers are all organized. Pretty happy about that. I have my jackets all here. And I did get rid of a bunch of uh, jean jackets I'm just not wearing anymore and a few blazers that I have not worn in over a year. So, you know, the rule is if you haven't worn it year, in a year and you don't think you're going to wear it again, might as well get rid of it. So I did. And that's it. All of my shoes. My shoes, I did um, a shoe organization video and I'll link that below also. So they were already pretty organized. My husband and my son built these little shelves for me. So yeah, that's all in the video link below. So anyway, thank you guys. Let Thank you guys so much for watching my closet decluttering video. It was a lot of fun because I love organizing. And if you like this kind of video, hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and have a fun fashion day. Bye.